Hi, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fille de la Mer Handmade Soap Shop in the Magdalen Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today, I'm making my cranberry soap. It's a very, very popular soap in my shop, and um, it's a different embedding technique I'm using in this one. Uh, the previous mountain pour soap that I made with the raspberry were the long scroll embeds and the little um, sticks that when you cut them makes little squares. In this soap I'm using um, swirls like these. Ah, there you go. Here you can see them better. So I'm using swirls that I make by hand and these little hearts that are made in a silicone mold. So here are the hearts in the silicone mold. I will unmold them pretty soon. They're hard enough. And um, I, will, I won't show you the process of mixing my ingredient in my melt and pour soap base because you've already seen that in the previous videos. So I'm just going to skip right to the interesting part where I place my embeds and how I pour my soap and just the fun stuff. So let's get going. So to make the swirls, um, I'm again using my cheese slicer and this is a block of pink melt and pour that I made ahead of time. So what I do, I just pull towards me and then it makes a swirl and if it's not shaped like I like it, I just move it around until the shape is how I like it. So there you go. And for the heart, well, it's just plain melt and pour, colored pink, and pour it in there, and then you just wait until it's hard enough, you pop it out, and you got your heart ready. So I'm going to show you how I stick these in the mold. So here are my embeds. I have enough to make three loaves of my cranberry soap. Using a ruler, I'm going to mark a little tiny dot at every place I want to put a swirl and a heart. Whoops. This is dry erase, so it comes off very easily. There. Okay. So I just dip a little bit in my mouth and pour and I just place it right on the dot making sure the dot is in the center of the embed Now that my first row of embeds are set up, I just flip my mold on the side and I'm going to dip every heart in the mountain pour and stick it to a swirl. This way, I know my heart will have the time to set up um, without sliding because my mold is on, sitting on the side. And when I flip it back up, everything will hold into place and I will be able to pour my clear mountain pour base with the cranberry fragrance. Okay, so my embeds are in place and I am ready to pour. I'm simply waiting for my base to cool down enough so it won't melt all of the nice uh, embeds that I've took the time to put in place. So may always make sure that you don't pour too hot if you try this because if you pour too hot you will ruin everything. So time and patience is key here. While we are waiting for my mountain pour soap base to cool, um, I thought I would ask you something. Uh, there's no obligation, it's totally up to you, but um, one of my soaping friends, she's a soap maker, she's a really young mother of twins, she's a single mother, and she has been living in a shelter for a couple weeks now, and she's looking to move out of there, hopefully soon, and um, we, a couple of uh, friends, um, 
We are like a soap making group of Canadian soap makers. We set up a GoFundMe account and we are trying to raise money to get her out of the shelter so she could afford her first month of rent and then hopefully get back her children to daycare and then get a job and get back to soaping. And um, if you're a soap maker out there or if you have a generous heart and you, you have a couple bucks, just, you know, if you have five bucks to pass along, that would be awesome. I will put the link uh, below this video. And if you want to help a, a soap maker to get back to soaping and get her life back together, well, you can donate um, a little amount. It doesn't matter, you know, two bucks, five bucks, ten bucks, whatever you can, if you can afford it. It would be so appreciated. Her name is Frankie and um, I already told her I would do a little thing in my next video for her. So please find it in your heart and find it in your heart to help this lovely young woman. Thank you. Now let's pour this soap. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spritz my embeds with rubbing alcohol. Then I'm taking these uh, cranberry seeds and each soap gets two of these little scoops which is half a gram of little cranberry seeds. Because of the alcohol some of it will stick on the embeds and what goes in the bottom will just float up to the top once I pour. Also, as I said in the previous video, oops, sorry for that, um, the alcohol helps the two melt and pour bases to adhere together. So, hop, let's pour. I'm leaving a little bit of room at the top because I will be adding a layer of pink mountain pour on the top of this soap. Okay. Oh. This table is not leveled, so I forgot to put my little plastic pieces. Now pop the bubbles, pop the bubbles, and I'm just going to gently pour this over the top. Ta -da. Oops, I said gently. <laughs> Pop up, bang, bang, bang. Get those bubbles out. And I will make the, the third batch in a couple minutes when I have an, uh, another batch mixed up. So I forget to say that if you go on the GoFundMe um, link and you donate to raise money for my friend, I will have a giveaway. I will uh, pick a name if we reach our goal, which is to collect three thousand dollars for her and I will have a fifty dollar basket of bath and body products from my shop So soaps lotions bubble bath whatever you want from my shop You pick whatever you want. I put that in box and I mail it to you for free. It'll be delivered to your door for free so if um, If you can't donate via the GoFundMe account, you can always send the money to me Via, uh, via PayPal and then I will transfer it to the GoFundMe account and I will take every name down and then you get your chance to be included in this giveaway. And this giveaway is worldwide so if you're from the US or I don't know Australia well you're eligible to give uh, to win my giveaway if you help Frankie out so thank you. Donate! Okay so I saved you the boring part of removing all the sides and stuff and I'm just gonna show you the final soap. 
these are two bars that I made yesterday, so they are already hard enough to unmold. So you can see the swirls on the bottom, and then the hearts on the side. And I will cut these so you can actually see how it turns out inside. Always using my countertop to split my loaves. I won't cut in the middle because if I do, you won't be able to see the embeds. But I will cut one inch to the left. And here we go. See. Voila! This is how it turns out. So you have the swirl in the bottom and the heart right on top. Thank you for watching this cranberry melt and pour with embeds <laughs> self video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will make a cutting video of how I cut these and wrap these soap. But I won't do this today because I actually wrap at my shop, so I will have to go down there to show you how this is done. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye, and don't forget to give to my friend Frankie. See ya!